Greetings, friends. My name is Charles Q. Banks, and I'd like to welcome you back to my playthrough of Cuphead. And here we are once again at the blueprint section. Hold for fire. Left for special. Can't really do that. Aha! Woohoo! You can do a barrel roll. The special is a whoa. It's a chomping um, rocket. Chomping rocket. It's a bullet bill, basically. And parry and shrink. That's nice. Okay, we're ready. This is you morphing into a plane. You're in a plane, and then you are a plane. Don't ask me how that works. I I have the, the very um, sinister belief that this game is all about the devil's magical and... Uh, occult influence on this cartoon world because you know plants and objects can already are already alive but I believe that they turn into beasts and you can morph and all this because the devil has made a deal with you and that all of these different soul contracts that you're getting like Hildeberg and threatening threatening Zeppelin um, they turn into beasts because they made a contract with the devil to become more powerful um, that's that's not I haven't seen that actually said anywhere, that's just me coming up with things. Hello, Hildeberg. You're toast. Oh not the Haas. She's laughing at me and it hurts. Wow. The rubber animations are crazy. Now she's a bull. Taurus. All of her mutations, her forms, are based on Constellations. Can you transform into the constellation of Castabarus? Hildeberg? I don't think so. Whoa! The special is when you turn into an atom bomb yourself with muscular arms. Because that's very simple imagery. Bombs are strength. Okay, here we are, the, the sisters. Oh! Okay, so that thing doesn't hurt me itself. The the shots do. That's nice to know. Oh! Well, I hit it. <laughs> oh! Garsh. Use it! Woo! Yeah, I do believe that the blast itself does damage, and not just having to hit whatever it is yourself. Does that make any sense? I don't think I'm making sense. Oh, got a headache, madam. She's going nuts. Wow. I love this. I love this boss. She's the best. Because this really reminds me, this game actually reminds me a whole lot of Kirby. Um, because it's very, oh, okay. I'm dead. I was very close to winning though. Wow, look how close I was. Could have done that in one one shot, but... Oh well. I'll probably get worse at this as time goes on. I really... Oh! Same, same time. Same place. I don't believe in jinki jinxing oneself. But I will do it. Ugh. Okay, I need to use that this thing a lot more. Ugh. I didn't even... <laughs> Woo! Die! It's very obvious that you are definitely killing uh, these creatures. There's, there's no, like, veiled, you know, children's friendly, uh, you know. It's not children fr friendly in the way that a lot of cartoons try to make out in America these days. Like, nobody can die in cartoons anymore, nobody can get injured. I think that is actually changing because of the influence of anime. <gasps> but back in the 30s, those inhibitions did not exist. <laughs> like, uh, the works of, I believe it was Max Fleischer? I'm not sure if it was Max, but, uh, Fleischer was the one who came up with Betty Boop, and this character is very Betty Boopian, if I can use that adjective uh, that I just made up. 
Um, but Max Fleischer came up with some really messed up cartoons. And that's where you get the inspiration for games like Bendy and the Ink Machine, which, ugh, really, really show you how disturbing some of those cartoons actually were. Um, yeah. I think this, this, uh, like, Bendy and the Ink Machine, and even this game, get a lot of, of their animated, uh, charm from shows like, um, Felix the Cat, which I watched a lot of as a kid, as well as... Oh, don't do that. I hate these stars. Hiya! Ha <laughs> You're toast. Maybe not yet. But you will be. Oh, dang it. So will I. There we go. Yeah, like I was saying before, this reminds me of the last boss of Kirby in Dreamland. Oh! I, I was counting on that being a little later. Anyway. It's on! Ah, I always get hit by that first ha! <laughs> Once again, lovely acting, voice acting. Yeah, this is Taurus again. The re rearing bull. Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah. I couldn't make it on that round. No matter how hard I would try. Real high-class bout! Oh man, I still got hit even though I was in small form. Doesn't make you invincible, by any means. I've got to keep these two hit points if I want to have any chance at defeating the Half Moon. Ugh! Oh well. <laughs> Might as well retry now. Felix the Cat and uh, Popeye the Sailor Man. Both had some pretty disturbing, uh, very adult themes to them. I felt uncomfortable with some of the Felix the Cat cartoons that I watched as a kid. And even Lo Looney Tunes is, has some very adult stuff in it. Lots of violence. Um, you know, if if uh, this were the real world, then Elmer Fudd could very well be justified in killing Bugs Bunny in self-defense. Same with Wile E. Coyote. I always side with Wile E. and... Uh, Elmer Fudd in their battles against the main protagonist. Because they're just jerks, you know? They're basically bullies. Oh! Please don't kill me, okay? I'm only trying to kill you and take your soul and give it to the devil. <laughs> oh, talking about adult themes. This has got it. Oh, dang it. Missed the pinks. Okay, she's getting her headache. Turning into the evil moon. Yeah, Kirby in Dreamland is my favorite game ever. Oh, come on. Hit her, hit her. Oh, no. Okay, so these ones come closer. <laughs> Those ones. Oh, dear. I'm toast. I, I, I can't, I don't know the... Uh, knockout, hallelujah. Bashed her nose in, ha! Stupid UFOs. That was an awesome boss battle. The last boss of Kirby was very dark, very threatening, very frightening. And it too was shooting stars at you. And you shot stars back on a cloud. B again, I suppose. Yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Okie dokie. Moving right along. Hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I love playing this game. It really gets the heart racing, you know. 
Magical stairs. Got Hildeberg's soul. Excellent. If you, um... Go to your equip card and go to the list, you can see all of the ones that you haven't got, and the ones that you have got. Doesn't show you the ones that you haven't got. Now I'm going to actually um, put on the special second shot, the spread. There we go. It wouldn't have mattered if I had the spread in the last boss battle because you were in the plane, and that only had very specific um, abilities. Where are we again? I just hit it and didn't even look at it. You saw it, of course. Oh, I love you, hourglass boy. Hourglass man, hourglass woman. I have no idea. It's on! It's on! Switch weapon. Did it. Good. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. Aha! Are these roly polies or ladybugs? I believe they're ladybugs. I'm shooting giant red triangles out of my fingers. Somehow that's better than light blue energy blasts. Use those invincibility frames. This game is so punishing. Oh. Ouch. Got rolled over by a roly-poly roller bug. Yep. Yeah, I think this is actually better for this purpose. Ow! I feel like stopping and and just waiting till they pass this whole time. <sighs> no. Okay, maybe I can get it this way. No. Yes. Haha. -ha! Beating the system. I don't have to get all the pings. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm all right. I will live and not die. I believe. Lord help me. I like the idea of this. Okay, moving on. Huh. Whoa. I did not expect that. For some reason, I was expecting the Hadouken again. He's like a mini-boss in himself. Oh, I'm, I'm out. Out of special blasts. There you go. Oh! He's hardwood. Is that, is that even a joke? <laughs> He's hard to kill, so I'm gonna call him hardwood. Yeah, this is... Amazing comedy! Ah! I wanted to slap that spiky pink thing. That morning star. Can I even defeat him? There we go. This is the obligatory redwood uh, level. Basically one in every classic platformer. I loved... I love forest levels in video games. Like, it kind of teaches you to love those levels, because they're always the easiest and the best designed. I don't know about this one. <laughs> it's rather repetitive. Oh, crap. Ha! Ah, got them all, and I'm still alive with one health. I know I will die. Ha! Ah, what are these guys? The mosquitoes? They're rather cute. Oh, by the way, that was Woody the Woodpecker making a... A, um, oh! <laughs> Dang it. That was definitely my fault. Definitely fair. Who invited you into our tree? Only members are welcome, you see. Ah, oh, so this is the treehouse, clubhouse type thing. Men's club. Or insects club, I guess. Ha ha! It really feels good whenever you nail one of those... Huh, things. Get out of my way, Woody. Woody with the Woodpecker also had some pretty dark uh, episodes. Like the one in which he almost starves to death in a metaphor for the uh, Great Depression. Well, I don't know why I didn't use my parry on those. 
This level definitely gets easier as you go on. I mean, as you die and come back. <laughs> the thing you have to remember, that I have to remember, is uh, that you don't have to destroy the enemies. There, you, you don't get anything for destroying these low-level enemies. You do get something for going faster. So... <laughs> Whoa. What's better to do than to simply... Whoa. Fireball killed that little fly. Whatever he is. Up, 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 up. Oh, cramity Christmas. Just gotta wait until those come back. Up, up, boop. Not going to allow my milk to spill, at least that's what I suppose. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Feel like I... Okay. Well, at least I didn't... That's not a one-hit kill. Ah, these guys aren't falling. Hello! Are you a dragonfly? Or just a moth? No, you're a dragonfly. Oh! <laughs> no! Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> oh, wow. If only I had paid attention to how I was doing. This is a rather long video, but I will get through this faster than you can say Woody the Woodpecker. <laughs> I, I get tense every time one of those parry potentialities occur. You notice they sound like, um, eight balls? Or what do you call those? Um, billiard balls? Uh, anyway, they're all gone now, so I can't have you listen to it anymore. Up, oh, nope. Yeah. You, don't, you ain't got nothing on me, Mr. Woodhead. <laughs> it is rather frightening when you see those crazy faces on these inanimate objects. Okay, I haven't gotten hit yet. Oh. My adrenaline's pumping. No! Okay. Whew. Again, I have to thank the developers for not making those pits bottomless. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh my. Ah! I am not doing well. Oh, gosh. Almost did it. Almost got him. I have to finish this. This is much, much more difficult than the first level. First run and gun level. Oh. Already lost part of my life. Do. Trying again. There, there's no shame in restarting. There are many chances for parries as well. Oh! He was supposed to die from that. Hey ya! Waiting, biding my time. I used to think that biding your time was literally. I'm biting my time. I thought that was the word that was used. Okay. Patience is a virtue, you know. That's what a lot of. Uh game reviewers don't get these days, and critics. Ugh. If a game is hard, it doesn't take away from that game's quality. It just means that a certain demographic won't be able to complete it. And, uh, having challenging games like Sonic and Mario and Donkey Kong when I was a little kid didn't make me want to stop playing them. Um, because I just loved the presentation of them. If this game looked horrible, if the animation was bad, uh, then yeah, I wouldn't want to play it, but gosh darn, if it isn't pretty. In a very, you know, 1930s way, which not everyone are, is going to like. 
Oh no, I all oh, ah. Okay. I just have to not get hit or fall down a pit or and not get split. I I don't know. Ha! Ah. That's nice. Out of my way. Kind of want to save up. Oh! I love their little voices. I'm sorry, everyone. I apologize. This channel is known for quality. Yeah, right. <laughs> This channel is known for doing the least amount of work. At least, if anyone has been watching my channel for any length of time, then that you will know that is true. Okay. I have to get those slaps. Because I want the better grade. I don't know why, it's just psychological, I guess. Oh, criminy. Ha! Beating the system. The frantic swing music really gives you the impression that you're supposed to fly through this level, and they definitely time you. Wow. He took a lot of hits. Gotta learn how to take a hit and get back up. I can't remember what that quotation is from Rocky. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay. See if I can... <gasps> nope. Answered my own question. Okay, so just stay on one for as long as possible. Where is he? There he is. Ah! Okay, I need my long range. Oh! How am I supposed to get up there? Okay, ugh! Dag nabbit! Naggy dabbit! Okay, well, that is all I have time for, unfortunately. So, we'll pick this up in the next episode, and hopefully I will be able to defeat this right away. So, thanks for watching, God bless, and remain classy.